Good morning from Discover Real Estate. Uh, today I am in El Camino del Sol. I'm behind Casa Bliss right now, which I'm going to video next. And this is a big parking area up here. Um, there's three houses that are part of this hill. And uh, so there's one house here, Casa Bliss. This is the covered parking for Casa Bliss, but then you also have a lot of extra backup parking here. So there's lots of space for additional cars and it's shared by these three houses. Casa Bliss is this grayish color or taupe color and uh, the rancher needs a little repair, but that's not hard to fix. So there's lots of water storage here. He, as you can see the downspout going into the water tank, he captures the rainwater from the roof. He's got terrace gardens out in front, so there's lots of space that you can um, terrace gardens. There's hammock hooks right here. You can hang up a hammock. Down below is the pool area for the development. So, and the yoga studio, I'll video that also. And these stairs go down to access that area. The little uh, casita with the red roof is a like a one bedroom studio apartment that can be rented out separately. On the back side of it is a chicken coop if you want to have chickens. And as you can see here, there's multiple layers of terraced garden space in the front here. So if you're a plant lover and you want to have an organic garden, you know, grow your own vegetables, there's lots and lots of space, lots of patio spaces and stuff. The little thatched roof over there is also part of the property. And then you've got a nice big uh, front patio area here, nice and big. Another big water tank that's capturing rainwater. If that's kind of ugly to you, you could get rid of that tank because there's lots of other tanks around that you don't have to have right on your front patio. But this house was totally remodeled by the, the current owner. He's got nice light fixtures in got uh, cameras, got a light there. He's got up lights in the floor, which is kind of cool. You have these three lights along the floor here. So you can see those. And let me go inside and show you the interior of the house. You come into a really nice big area for your kitchen and living room. Uh, the furniture here, the couches, don't come with the house. Some of the furniture comes, some of it doesn't, but it's also optional. So if you wanted to, if you like the way it looks and you wanted to buy the TV and the front and the couches, that's an option. But it's a nice big open space coming into the kitchen. There's three bar stools here at the kitchen. Nice big six burner stove. So... Got the microwave with the range hood built in underneath. So you've got the extractor built in. Um, nice cabinet work. The backsplash all around the kitchen is very nice. The security bars on the windows are unique. The design is, is different and is nice. So, got a nice big LG refrigerator. So. It's big, big spaces here. And then off of the kitchen, oh, and I love this mirror. This mirror is awesome. It really makes the room look even bigger than it is. So um, off of the kitchen is the master bedroom. So we've got a king size bed in here. And it has really nice closet space. All the bedrooms have basically the same closet space, so. And this bathroom is really cool. It's black tile. So it, it looks kind of dark, but it's really, it's a cool bathroom. Uh, I got the shower here with the window in the shower. This is a polished concrete counter and top. Just really fun, cool place, cool sink. And then the toilet is around the corner here.
And I like his mix of colors. He did a very good job, like the color beside the kitchen, beside the backsplash, and then this this wall of purple, which is just, it's really cool. They go together very well. Um, now down this hallway is two bedrooms with a shared bathroom and a laundry room. So the first bedroom here, you've got the nice closet. So bed and, and, uh, and the air conditioner. There's really nothing on the walls artwork wise. So it's kind of a blank canvas. You could decorate however you wanted. This room, because the house is used for rentals, it's got two sets of bunk beds in it and also a nice closet too. And it's done in a nice blue. And then here is the shared bathroom for this bedroom, which is a nice big bathroom. And you've got similar design with the polished concrete uh, counter and storage area below and the same sink. Nice light fixtures and the shower, you've got nice light. And he just, he tiled the entire walls in here. So like the master bathroom, you have a little window right there. But uh, yeah, it's just a, it's very well done. Um, all the work in here is very nice. And then here, um, right out here to the ranch or the carport is a laundry room. So you've got plenty of room in here for a side-by-side -side washer and dryer if you wanted. Uh, lots of storage space in here. And then also you have the electric panel here. So, okay. I like that the, the best bedrooms, the guest bedrooms are separate from the master. So it gives you more space. If you want to work from home, there's plenty of space along this wall to put a desk or something. Have yourself a nice little office there. Or even plenty of room in the master bedroom to put a desk, but there's lots of space right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to the pool. Let me shut my door <laughs> behind me. So. We'll go down to the lower casita. And also the property continues around. You see that little thatch roof there? So that's part of the property too. So I'll take a video of all of this. Okay, here are the stairs that go down to the lower level to the pool. Which is nice. So you can walk down to the pool and not have to um, you know, drive that down to it. So let me give you a, a view of the gardens from here. And this little rancho here that you can just hang out in. So. And then you have another little casita here, or not casita, another rancho. So you've got lots of space for different people to hang out, hang up the hammocks and enjoy life. So kind of, I guess these are the stairs for the other house over there for them to get down to the pool. So. But you've got lots of garden space here, even on this side, there's some more garden space. These look really cool. I've never sat in one. They don't look comfortable, but they look cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now he did have chickens here. So this was a chicken coop that's fenced in like that. You can just keep it like that for security to store whatever. If you want to have chickens again, you could have your own chickens and have your own fresh eggs.
and here is the one bedroom studio. Let me back up so you can see the front of it. Um, it's basically the opening is a garage door. So you could, if you wanted, you could use it as a garage, but they converted it into a one bedroom studio. So we've got a mirror there, some shelving here. We've got bathroom with a little window. So just the, the toilet in here. And then the sink is in the shower. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so the shower is really tiny. But you've got the shower here, very narrow, and the sink in the shower. And the little kitchenette. So you've got a hot plate and a toaster oven and a microwave oven. That's a bigger toaster oven there, but no kitchen sink here. So the only sink in the house is in the shower in the bathroom. So yeah, I don't know. You could maybe rent this to somebody or use it as a studio for yourself. You could use it as an art studio or an office space or something like that. If you wanted to have your own home office and be away from the main house during the day where your kids are making noise, you could do that. So, and then here is the pool area. Here's the little casita and then Casa Bliss above it and behind. So. And just a look at the house from down below. But lots of garden space here. I really like this house if you like your own gardens and you want to grow your own vegetables. There's several, looks like fruit trees, lime trees, um, different things along that nature here. So, and just different terraces for the gardens and lots of water storage. So it's a very unique property. Hmm. I don't know what that is growing on the tree, but it looks cool. And then these are the steps going up to the house from the pool level. But coming in from the parking up top was super easy. Uh, just a couple steps down and you also have the rancho to put your car under so you have protection from the sun. So we've got a nice paved parking space, paved driveway. And lots of water tanks down there to store lots of rainwater. So let me check this out. This is quite the system here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six tanks here to collect rainwater. So pretty cool. And from up here, you can see some of the valley, the hills around. No ocean view from here, but it's just really peaceful. And right now is the dry season. So the trees, about half the trees lose the leaves. Half of the trees lose half of their leaves. Um, so things are, are kind of dry looking right now. In the green season, this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here. And some of these trees are starting to to bloom with flowers. It's that time of the year where before the rains actually start, the flowers come out and that brings out my allergies. <laughs> so I love my life. Come join me.